Good morning, seventh grade. Today starts your journey for eighth grade. You are going to be watching some videos, one from us, one from Gateways. After you watch these videos about the different programs, you're going to have the opportunity to fill out a form that is going to be done through Schoology, where you get a chance to choose if you are interested in either one of these programs, or you would like to stay or go back to a traditional team. All of that will be explained to you later. You'll probably hear it in announcements from Dr. Weidlich. For this purpose, we're going to have to go fast. We have about 10 minutes. We apologize. If you have questions after you watch our video, you are welcome to come up and see us. You are welcome to come up and talk with our kids. But we're going to go quick. We got a lot to get to. So we're going to start with introductions. Hi, guys. Uh, my name is Mr. Yider. I'm the soundings teacher with hair, uh, as you can possibly see, I guess. Um, I've been in the soundings program now. This is my fifth year doing this with Mr. Mercurio. Um, before I was in the soundings program, I actually started in Radnor Middle School six years ago now uh, in the crossroads room. I got the opportunity to work with Mr. Caney for half of the year. While here at RMS, I've also taught uh, sixth grade math. Uh, I taught eighth grade honors algebra, eighth grade uh, grade level math. I currently teach seventh grade honors math, and I've also taught soundings. So now I'm going to turn it over to my bald friend here and let him introduce himself. Not only am I the bald friend, I am also the old guy. I've been teaching for over 20 years. The last 10 or 11, actually, I believe it'll be 11, I have been in the soundings program. I was hired to teach seventh grade 20 years ago. I've taught seventh grade social studies, science, language arts, math. I have coached baseball. I've coached softball here. I don't do that any longer because I, I spent a lot of my time with my family, my wife, and my five-year-old daughter. Um, last 10 plus years, I've been here in soundings. I worked with Mark Springer who created the program. And in addition to teaching soundings, I teach an honors algebra class. Uh, now that we've gone over a little bit of who we are, very briefly, uh, Mr. Yider is going to take you for a quick spin of the room. You're going to get a chance to see what this room looks like, and then we'll get into the bulk of our presentation. So as we just take a quick little spin here, what you guys are looking at right now is our back room. Those of you who uh, are in Watershed or we're in Crossroads, you'll recognize that. But this is a great spot for students to work individually or to work uh, with a group cooperatively. As we take a little more of a spin here, what you guys are going to see is the rest of our room. And by taking a look at it, you're going to see that it's, it's much bigger than the traditional classroom, actually about twice the size of it. What you're also probably noticing is that there's a lot of colorful creations on our cabinets and on our ceiling. And what those are, that is students of soundings years past leaving their mark on this classroom. As we rotate just a little more here, what you guys are seeing is a whiteboard, chalkboard. And as we get all the way around here is our calendar. And these are some very, very important time management and organizational tools that you guys will be utilizing over the course of your time here in soundings. Now we're going to get into the bulk of our presentation. So welcome to Soundings. So what exactly is this program all about? Soundings is a nationally recognized program. It is recognized throughout education circles of all levels, from elementary to middle, all the way up to high school. What you guys will see on the right side of the slide there uh, are some books that this program is published in. The first book you're going to see, that orange and red one, is Soundings, and that was written by Mark Springer, who created the Soundings program and also the Watershed program. Another one we'd like to point your attention to is What Every Middle School Teacher Should Know by Dave Brown and Trudy Knowles. Uh, Mr. Merck is actually published in that book, and then if you take a look at the cover there, what you see is Sounding Students from Prior Years. Uh, every single year, with the exception of this year, of course, we get visitors from all over this country, from different school districts, who want to come in and see not what Mr. Merck and I do, but they want to observe what it is that you guys do when in this program. Building off of that a little bit, a few years ago, Mr. Merck and I actually had the great opportunity to go down to Philadelphia and present this program at the Association for Middle Level Education National Conference. And while Mr. Merck and I were there, it was our former students from that year who did the bulk of the presenting when it came to this presentation. Um, it was really cool to see 30 of our students presenting to about 100 educators on what it is they did in school. 
Now that we got that out of the way, I'm going to turn things over to Mr. Merck to get a little bit on, on what it, you're going to learn and how you're going to learn. The what and the how is very important. Uh, this will be quick, so if you get confused, feel free to come up. If we go too fast, you're not confusing. If, you get, if we go too fast, feel free to come up and ask questions. On the next slide, what you're going to see is the fact that this program is student-centered. You've heard that before probably. You've probably heard it in your traditional classes. Uh, you may have heard it in Crossroads. You may have heard it in Watershed. Soundings is truly student-centered. You will drive the curriculum. You will hopefully focus on the quality of your work and not a grade. You will produce work of which you are proud. Not that you aren't doing that this year, but we would really want you to focus on it. And we, in order to do that, we remove the grade. You are not gonna be graded in soundings. We'll explain a little bit more about that later on, but ultimately soundings is student driven. So how does that manifest itself in our units of study of which there are three. The first two, Unit one and unit two are science and social studies based. Unit three, you will create that. So the question is why three units? Why not four, five, six, or seven? There are three units. First two are structured from September up to winter break. They will cover eighth grade material, science material, American history, because that is what the science and the social studies is in eighth grade. So you won't miss out on the content that your peers will get. We just will do it in the first half of the year. Moreover, we will be building skills that will help you be successful for creating unit number three, which you will start to create that at the end of December or the beginning of January, and that unit will take you all the way to the end of the year. You will choose topics that are of interest to you. You will figure out how you want to present that information to your peers, and you will have a say. We will put the skills you learned in units one and two to work in unit three. So another way that you are going to have a say in power and what it is you do in soundings is through individual research projects or IRPs, as we like to call them. Your first IRP will begin in October. And what you're going to do for that student chosen, so this is something that you want to study, you're going to do a presentation on that. Those presentations usually last anywhere from 45 to 90 minutes, and they'll take place in January and February. For IRP number two, we change things up a little bit. For that one, you're going to write a formal research paper that begins in January, and the final draft of that paper is going to be due in late May. Those papers run anywhere from six, seven, eight, nine, ten pages, sometimes all the way up to 20 and 30. Um, when you really delve deep into something that you want to study, we really think you guys are going to amaze yourselves with what you're going to be able to produce. So a question that we get every year and that a lot of the other integrated programs will get is, well, how are you guys structured if you're different from the traditional classroom? And when we like to say soundings is highly structured and highly organized, it's just a little different than the traditional team. So what you're gonna see here is our blackboard and a major focus in soundings is organization and time management. On the left side, you'll see a list of all your ongoing responsibilities short term and long term. And you guys will see some lot of questions and quotes there. A lot of questions. We're going to try to drive you in the right direction when it comes to your individual, or your group research, or things that we're working on over the course of the year. Moving on, what you guys see here is our whiteboard. Uh, at the bottom, you're going to see our daily schedule. We will set this schedule up for you every single day so that you know what it is you're doing for periods two, three, five, and eight. If you look just above that, you'll see a list of everything that you could be working on during work time. To the right, you're gonna see short-term assignments that are due for that upcoming week, whether you're in the first half of the alphabet or the second half of the alphabet. So now moving on to our calendar, um, what you saw when we did the tour of the room, you have this five-week calendar and you see different colors up there and different writing. We lay out all of your assignments that are going to be due over that time period. And we find these are super, super important to you guys building your time management skills and figuring out how to set goals for not only short term assignments, but long term assignments as well. So now that we've gone over that a little bit, Mr. Merck's going to get into well, how is it that we are going to measure what it is you're doing in soundings? And Mr. Merck is going to do this fast because we've got about Two minutes. 
So we're going to go quick. Ultimately, we are going to measure your progress through rubrics. We are going to assess you. You are going to be not, you're not going to get graded. No grades, no percentages, no points, no scoring guides. It is through rubrics. They are narratives. They are descriptive. They explain how you are to produce something, what a quality piece of writing looks like, what it reads like, what a presentation that is quality looks like. You will have self-assessments. Ultimately, you will get a ton of feedback on how you are progressing on your goals measured against you. You are not gonna be measured against your peers. So if you've been working really hard and you always get a C in school, but this other young man, he doesn't have to work very hard and he gets an A, you're measured against him. In here, you will never be measured against anybody else other than yourself. Will we be ready for high school? If I'm measured against myself, if I'm gonna be creating my own curriculum, if I'm not gonna get grades, does that translate into ninth grade? All of these skills you see here on this slide translate into ninth grade, 10th grade, and 11th. But what we're gonna share with you right now are some grade point averages that we've collected over the years. The skills that you build in soundings, what you see here right now on the left-hand side, at least our left-hand side, hopefully it's yours. <laughs> on our left-hand side are the grade point averages from sounding students at the end of their ninth grade year compared to their peers at the end of the ninth grade year. And what you'll see is our kids consistently do better than their peers. The skills you will build in here will last you a lifetime, but they will also translate directly to high school. We've got about a minute to wrap up and Mr. Yider's gonna take us home. Gonna fire away at you guys here. So is soundings for you? We have this long list of who soundings is for, and you guys can take a look at that. If you're willing to challenge yourselves, we want you here in soundings. If you want to have a say in what it is you're gonna do, Soundings could be for you. If you want something different than the traditional or you want to continue what you've been doing in your integrated classes, soundings could be for you. If you want to become a better writer, improve your time management skills, and want freedom in how it is that you present what it is you're learning, soundings could be for you. Ultimately, soundings is for students who want to feel empowered with their education. We would like to say thank you, and we really, really hope that you guys are going to put your names in for the lottery, and maybe we'll see you next year in Soundings. Thank you, guys. Thanks, everybody.